Morning. This morning we're moving on to the halakha of who is obligated to pray. Now the Rambam writes that it's a Torah obligation to pray daily. However, when he writes that, he makes it clear that one prayer a day, already a person fulfills their Torah obligation of prayer. The concept of praying three times a day is rabbinical. It doesn't mean that we don't need to do it. However, where it makes a difference is, does prayer become a time-bound obligation or not? In Hebrew we say, a mitzvah aseh, shazman grama, or not? What's the difference? Well, if it's a time-bound positive obligation, then it's only upon men and not women. If it's not, then women are equally obligated to pray at least once a day like men. And that is the Rambam's opinion. The Rambam says that not only men, but women should pray at least one amida per day. So this is something which is important. It's important to teach our wives, all the women that are listening, that praying amida is an obligation per day to be done. Ideally, as Chambadi Yosef brings down, as, as well as many others, a woman should at least do Birkot HaShachar, Birkot HaTorah, Bishma Yisrael, and the Amida. Ideally, Shacharit would be the best starting off the day. However, if uh, she's busy due to work or getting the kids ready to bring them to school or whatever, Mincha is definitely acceptable as well. Now, since women are Hayav to pray once a day, again, a proper Amida, then this is one of the reasons, not the only reason, but however, this is one of the reasons why an Izrat Nashim, a women's section, was added to the Bet Knesset, in order that a woman could come and pray just as, just as men do. However, it's important to note that men have an obligation to pray with a minyan, and women don't. What that means is if a woman would like to come and pray, however, by her coming and praying, she's leaving chaos at home with the children or with anything else that has to be taken, taken care of, she should not, rather the halakha is, is she could and should pray at home. Obviously making sure that there's a proper woman section at the Bet Knesset, but again, a woman is allowed to come to the Bet Knesset, she's encouraged to come to the Bet Knesset, every time she answers Kaddish, answers Amen to the Shleach Tzibur, listens to the, the Kriyat Torah, all of that is a mitzvah, however, not an obligation for her to fulfill and should not be fulfilled if it will leave again chaos at home and uh, leave the children and, and whatever else she has to take care of unsteady. Um, this is with the exception of Parashat Zachor, which is coming up in, within the next couple months, um, which is a Torah obligation even for the women to come here. However, again, the summary for this morning's halakha is men and women are equally obligated from the Torah to pray once a day, then men take that further and we say we pray three times a day with a minyan, and women don't because that now becomes very time bound. Bezat Hashem HaKadosh Baruch Hu will answer our prayers and the prayers of our wives, daughters, mothers, and everyone, uh, all of Klal Yisrael Bezat Hashem. Tonight, Mincha.